There was an extremely wealthy man who possessed vast treasures of art. The man had one son who was a very ordinary boy who passed away his adolescence in obscurity and had little effect on anybody. He reached a certain age in his life and he died rather unexpectedly as a young man. The father mourned the son great, greatly. Within a few months after the death of his son, the father died as well. And he left this incredible wealth bound up in art treasures. He left a will and he said that everything was to be auctioned. And strangely enough, in the will, the father stipulated that one particular painting had to be auctioned first. That was a painting of his son, done by an artist that no one really knew. And so the auctioneer, in accord with the will, did exactly what was to be done. And first of all, to the large crowd that had assembled, he directed their attention to this painting of the rather obscure son of the wealthy man and started the bidding there. No one knew the boy. No one knew the artist. No one really cared about the boy. A long time passed without any bid at all and finally an old black man who had been a servant in the house of the wealthy man came forward and he said he would like to place a one dollar bid on the portrait of the son whom he loved very much and at that point in his life that was all he could afford. There were no other bids and the black servant was able to purchase the painting of the son for one dollar. Then the dramatic moment came as he read the next portion of the will. It said this, all the rest of the treasure shall go to the one who loved my son long enough and strong enough to purchase his portrait. There is no way to comprehend the riches that God has provided for those who love his son. No way. They are infinite. Jesus said, the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure. The Bible says, I hath not seen, nor ear heard, the things that God has prepared for those who love him. And this, beloved, is the good news, isn't it? That if we love the Son, we inherit all the riches of the Father. Christ, we have treasure beyond imagination. The Bible says that if we love the Son, we will have a faithfulness that will never be removed. We will have a life that will never end. We will have a spring of water that will never cease to bubble up within us. We will have a gift that will never be lost. We will have a hand out of which the resources will never end. We will have a chain that will never be broken. We will have a love from which we can never be separated. We will have a calling that will never be revoked, a foundation that will never be destroyed, and an inheritance that will never, ever, ever fade away. Now, this is the good news. 